be joined by the lo lovely time piece who will be your cat. Hi. All right. Well, let's get it started. I believe we have readies from both teams. Okay. That we do. So, I'm excited to see what's what's going to happen here. Uh, we no, know that, I or at least I, from what I've observed, the Tantalizers tend to like running a more divey play style. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested to see how that'll work for them, because obviously that did not go so hot for us last night. <laughs> yeah. Obvious. I've heard a lot on both sides. I mean, I know White Walkers has been just killing it with Tier 3 mm -hmm. constantly. And I know Tantalizers has a great tank line, support line, and DPS. I mean, a, whole, a great team, really, right? But yeah. I've heard a lot from um, a lot of good Ready. things from Ishii in specifics, uh, Queen, Pixie, and Cypher. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. not to say that Senshi and Zanny Boy do not have their Yeah, highlights. Zanny's got a great tank on him. It's as well as Cypher. I believe we gave Cypher support MVP the last time we casted for this team, so... Mm -hmm. Five, four, Definitely three, not two to be slept two, on at all. One, but meanwhile, one. you, you have White Walkers. White Walkers, Million, Pogchamp, Bleem, Richard, Musketeer, all really, really strong players. Excited to see how this unfolds, and as we see immediately, these analyzers busting out this dive type of composition into the brawl comp from White Walkers. They're able to get the point first, but White Walkers comp will allow them to sustain. Pogchamp stuck in a trap. White Queen able to execute on it fantastically, but Richard able to get a fire strike on the parsnip. That's a lot of the healing gone for analyzers now. They get analyzers gets initial cap here. They use the soldier healing to make up the parsons loss, but Danny Boy overextends just a little bit here. Gonna get picked off by Bleem, and now we have Ishii out here on the ball. Gonna get picked off by Pogchamp. A really good ball counter in Doomfist. And now the cleanup's gonna start coming through. They've whittled away at the side composition just enough. White Queen gonna use the tire, gonna find Pogchamp wall, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, never mind, they find the pick on the Bleem! Tamalizers are gonna be able to sustain here! Literally, as we're talking about uh, Queen here, and that was such a fast tire and a clutch tire, really. Absolutely. It only found Pogchamp, but you only needed to get that to stabilize. Mm hmm. Once that instant see. pick potential is gone, it allows you to come back onto the point. Mm -hmm. okay. And now Zanny Boy's gonna use Leap to hop in here, looking for the Sombra, finally gonna find it, has to use Bubble. Zanny Boy on the verge of death right now. Ishimon charges in by themselves though to try and cover. Looks like they might get picked off here. It's gonna happen, Zanny Boy tried to push in to help. Now Beat gets invested here, they're gonna get aggro with it really fast. Dixie overextended here. Huge EMP finding all the remaining members of Tantalizers. And this is gonna come in and the rest of the triangles are gonna come through here for White Walkers. Musketeer finding the booth on the Ice Queen. And now Cypher finally gonna get picked off here. You built 74%, that's really good considering that fight was initially looking lost at about the 20% mark. Yeah, that was a great take back. White Walkers, though, they did have the counter comp here, so I do believe it might have just been a matter of time. I like the swap from Ishimon onto the Reinhardt after seeing the Doomfist and the million swap with Sombra. And Richard, though, finding an instant pick on Sinchi. Pogchamp trying to finish off this fight. Get a pick up the Zanny Boy, gonna find it. Grab it on Surge, he's in the best of here, only finding Ishimon. Richard is gonna take him off the map. You can afford that pick, that loss in Reinhardt, though, once you've already gotten two picks before it comes through, and Reflex and Pog are gonna group up on the, the parts that Pixie here and take them out. Cypher trying to get out with their life, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Pogchamp chases them down. Pogchamp is just an assassin right now. Just about anything Pog has put his mind to killing, it has died. But the side of Tants here, they already are saving up all of their ults. They've got all six. Triangle party, maybe? Yeah, but White Walkers are coming up on quite a few ults of their own. They will probably be able to build up to the CMP as well, which will 
render a lot of the ultimates on the side of Stabilizer's useless, but then Sire! Oh, it was almost a 3k! That was a huge beat coming through from Musketeer to save their team! Zeddy Boy's trying to poke onto the point, but Reflex's Golessas are gonna pressure them out. Ishimon charges on the point, low on health, finds Musketeer though. However, PogChamp immediately going to pick them off. The numbers aren't looking good for Tantalizers here. White Walker's looking like they might be able to sustain through this fight. Gets the pick up from Zanny Boy, and that's gonna force the rest of the Tantalizers away. That the White Walker's winning that fight. However, Tantalizers only use two of their six ultimate. They're still gonna come into this fight with four of them. That, that, oh no! A double boop! You lost! You lost two critical ultimates right there! And the EMP comes through! Gonna deny any ultimates that are left! And Zaddy Boy comes in onto the Diva. This is a stall. They, I don't know if it's gonna last long enough. Richard gonna pick off the Baby Diva almost instantaneously. Since she's the only one, maybe Cypher. No, neither of them are gonna make it in time. And that'll be round one of Ilios going to White Walkers. That was a great take back from White Walkers. And once they had that point, there was no taking it back. Absolutely not. They, I think they did some of their homework here and found out that that Doomfist and Sombra were gonna be a bit of a pain for Tantalizers to deal with here. This time we're going over to Well. We're gonna see <laughs> the Brawl has turned into a double shield, at least on the side of the tank line. Million will swap off the Sombra and onto an Ash, it looks like. And we're seeing Reflex swap off of the Moira over to a Baptiste. And on the side of Tantalizers, Danny's gonna swap to Roadhog, gonna try and get some. You see little hook kills and Senshi onto the Reaper. Other than that, no swaps for Tantalizers. I mean, for Tantalizers, they definitely have to watch out for Pog still on that Doomfist. Mm -hmm. However, they do have a lot more sustain now against it. Oh, it's Andy Boy gonna get halted into the well immediately! Not what you wanna see! Pog does push in though. The Reinhardt might be able to secure the kill. They're gonna be able to. Oh no, they don't! They barely get killed. Carson Pixie able to grasp just a little bit. Blink gets launched up into the air here. This could go both ways. However, point control does seem to belong to White Walkers at the moment. Tantalizers need to claim some of the space. White Walkers may not have claimed the point yet, but they definitely have the point presence they need. Tantalizers are going to start moving on the point. White Queen able to pressure down these shields. Pogchamp, though, going to get their hands dirty. They're in the mix. They have to pick a Pixie, but Ichimon picks off Pogchamp. Halt comes through. It doesn't find Ichimon quite enough. This is just a big stalemate right now, going with picks back and forth. Musketeer finds a pick on the Senshi! And Zanny Boy finding themselves in the middle. One good halt here could end that entire push. There still hasn't been a capture! Supercharger coming through. We're gonna start seeing ult before percentage goes through. White Walkers finally take this objective to themselves. Musketeer behind Reinhardt and Parson and Pixie here trying to look for a boob kill, but they're hugging this wall. They're not gonna let them have it that easily. Musketeer is getting away with a lot more than they probably should be right now. And now Tantalizers are gonna try and push in this right side building here. They're backing out a little bit. They don't have a front line really. Their tanks are both in spawn coming back. They're gonna have to pull back a little bit. White Queen hopping up here looking to contest Million face to face. However, Richard gonna find the pick from downtown. Now they're gonna have to regroup their force. They're missing. Oh, and Cypher gets picked. Not, not looking good for him right now. This is a hard fight. And, and right now, White Walkers has all the positioning they want. Their tantalizers can't do anything to Million in the position they're in. They don't have any hero to deal with them. Barring maybe Mugen Cypher um, running up there, like wall riding on the outside and booping them down into the well, but they'll coach gun away. This is the first map, D Man. So far, it's in favor of uh, White Walkers. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm kind of paying attention to Million a little bit here. I'm not sure I like the positioning swap. They just got rid of their cover. They can see more, but they can be seen more too. However, let's talk about these ults. Both teams have five ultimates here. Tantalizers are giving up a lot of time here for this regroup. It's been silent for the last about 40 seconds. Be coming through to negate this Grimitic Flux. Oh no! Really good boop there! Million able to force the enemy into the wall and Ichimon follows! The tank line oh, is gone! There goes Senshi too. too! Oh my god. This is a disaster for the Tantalizers. They waited so long to push in! 
They wanted these ults to win the fight for them, and they didn't even get a chance to really use them aggressively. Now they're put in a stagger position. They need to just touch. Is anybody gonna make it? Oh, no! unfortunate. <laughs> they were so close. That'll that be not one right going there. to White Walkers. I mean, we're seeing a great performance from White Walkers DPS right now. And Deer with the, like, what was it, a double boop? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. I mean, we really, we, we cannot forget about uh, Queen over here. That first, um... That first round, that whole control mm -hmm. point that uh, Tantalizers had gotten was because of Queen, honestly, with that clutch tire right there. Yeah. Controlled the, ma the, the point for so long. I, I agree. White Walkers, though, they just came in and they completely shut down Tantalizers. Like, Tantalizers had that moment on, on the first take where they looked like they, they might, like, be really in for Ilios and ready to take a real fight to White Walkers, but White Walkers made a couple of counter swaps and looked like that staggered Tantalizers, and I never... They never really got a fair fight on Well. It was a big poke war until it finally just kind of fell apart from... It looked like mispositioning, or if that was positioning, they just had a lot of... They, they spread out too thin. They lost Senshi when Senshi should have been, I think, either flanking or with their team. I mean, I don't blame well them shield. either for that no. uh, for that regroup that took so long. I, I mean, no, yeah. play, if you're playing you, White you Walkers, right? With the composition they were playing, they, that, they had to regroup, but it just took them so long to get that regroup together that White Walkers weren't spending any ults at all. And uh, Match so Chat... So it ended up turning into a 5-ult fight on well. Hmm? Match Chat is out here saying that this is Deer's debut as Lucio if that's Ooh. if that's their debut <laughs> I mean we can expect a lot more in these upcoming maps then I'm liking what I'm seeing so far very excited to <laughs> see more yeah I, I wow <laughs> like in Kirby's words right that was a breakout performance yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to count tantalizers out though. That was a, yes, well was pretty one-sided, but they looked pretty good on Lighthouse and Nimbani plays more into their playstyle with mm -hmm. the more divey heroes and in split compositions and positioning. I think Nimbani will play a lot more into that than Ilios did for them. I think that on Nimbani, we will see Tantalizers most likely look a lot stronger and take a lot more of a fight to the White Walkers this time. I mean, to be honest, I don't like Ilios. I think Ilios is the worst <laughs> map, right? So I don't, I don't discredit any team for losing on Ilios because I just don't like Ilios whatsoever. And I think Nimbani is a much better map, especially if they run that dive comp that they're known for, right? Mm hmm um, I, I think that it, yeah, it's gonna work out for them. I don't, especially with the, um, with the, oh my god, with <laughs> the people that they have. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, I think they're gonna do great. Let's get these swaps in then. I will say that I, as far as how I feel about Ilios is, I'm cool with Ruins, I'm cool with Lighthouse, Please fix well. Make the well like 10% smaller as a whole well, and I will be much happier with that map as an as a thing in the game. <laughs> but that well takes up so much of the objective that it, it feels a lot less you're, like you're able to actually fight on point and more like you're just trying to avoid the well as much as possible because people like to just pick boop characters there because the well will give you so much value like 
you can almost throw away a team composition. And if you just play like Farah, Lucio, Hog, and Orisa, you're bound for some type of success on well. <laughs> Am I blind, or is there an always? Um. <laughs> there's there <laughs> supposed to be in for Zanny boy. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think I'm blind. Oh, it's blind. I'm checking. Got it. I got it. Oh, got okay. It. Oops. Okay, and then looks like Queen and Elite are going to be in for Tantalizers. And then their healers are going to be... Cypher's going out. Um, they're going to get Anime to come in. And Pixie. Alright. Looks like these swaps are doing pretty good. Let's, let's get their readies. Hmm. Looking at these rosters, I'm trying to think of what we might see here moving into Ilya. From each I feel side. like I feel like I've heard Charles's name so much. <laughs> uh huh. So I expect nothing but the best. So yeah, there's that. Right, especially with Pog and Millie's. DPS skills, talent, and Red Hood Kitty's support. I mean, I, I haven't seen Reflex in action other than the last map. I mean, the last map looks pretty impressive, so I'm I not mean, sleeping on their support line at all. I'm excited to see some highlight performances here. There's a lot of individual talent between both of these teams that I'm really, really excited though. to see clash. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think, chat? Anime Samurai, Parsta Pixie, Elite Arrow, Weiss Queen, Cave Doctor. Those are all a lot of names that I've watched over the, over my time here in the Oasis and been pretty impressed with. On the side of Tantalizers, I mean, we clashed with White Walkers earlier this season. Charles, Bleem, I, I, obviously... Pog, Champ, Millie, just their whole roster that's currently in right now, instead of me saying everybody individually, very, very strong, so I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. This should be a really fun Nambani to watch. Listen, I, White Walkers may have taken the first map, but I feel like Tantalizers, Tantalizers got this. Uh, they're definitely not down for the count yet. They have a good chance of bouncing back here. I'm waiting on one more ready uh, from Tantalizers. I mean, especially with these swaps that we see coming in um, on the side of Tantalizers, I, I wouldn't put them out. I wouldn't put them out yet, I see. I don't know. I think, I think that they're going to get this ball rolling. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's get started. Traveling to Mumbai. Initiating match. Yeah, uh, I'm so far the score. I'm quite fond of this map. I like Numbani. I think it's a very, like, there's so many ways that you can get on to point from. I, I don't like it. Yeah, the score is 1-0 uh, in favor of White Walkers. Oh, we're gonna see a double shield I... come out. 
from White yeah, Walkers. Yeah, I was just about to say, I was kind of thinking we were either going to see some variant of like a Reinhardt double shield or a, a traditional double shield as far as the tank line Attackers goes, White Walkers, based off of the Charles and Bleem lineup. Um, interested in the, the, the Pog on Torb? Um, we're not getting memed because they've left the spawn room. Um, <laughs> So they're planning on a lot of hit scan here. It looks like they, they must be expecting. Uh, I mean, elite arrows coming in on Tracer. Torbjorn is a, a natural counter to Tracer. It's very hard for her to do her job. But, oh, we're gonna uh, see Zarya like Zarya and Ryan. Yep. Okay. And Dude, then we see Queen on Zarya. Hanzo. Listen, I've I've seen Queen pop off on Hanzo quite a few times. So I'm yep. I expect a lot. I expect a lot here. My time watching Queen, I've just learned it's it's a very good job not to sleep on their DPS ability. It looks like they're Alien gonna go falling down. falling low already here. Kitty with the pocket though, gonna get Queen knocked down. Good fire strike coming through from one. Not gonna find any fix though, just ult charge. Analyzer's taking a really odd rotation here. They've sent their Moira and their Reinhardt over across the stairs, and now the Zarya and the Brigitte will join them. They're looking to take this high ground away. Elite Arrow point, putting pressure on point, forcing Charles to come down and contest it. But Elite Arrow is stuck behind the cart because of this turret. And Queen finally able to knock it out. However, Million and Kitty have rotated to this opposite high ground. The Pogchamp able to find the pick up to Elite Arrow. Million finds Samurai, and now it's just a brawl on point, but the double shield will win out in that in that war. The, the DPS of, uh, of White Walkers did a really good job rotating around. The entire team honestly did. They saw the rotation come through um, and they immediately started rotating for it. And when Elite Arrow tried to pressure them down off a point, they only sent Charles down to touch. So it was a really, really good job as far as positioning goes on the side of White Walkers. Um, I don't know if Tantalizer should give that rotation up necessarily yet, but I do think they need to make it happen a little bit faster than they did that time. Because they gave White Walkers a lot of time while they were waiting on the Zarya and the Brigitte to show back up to join the right heart. Looks like this time they just want to go for instant point pressure. They're going to put one right on point. Cave Doctor on Diva now. Trying to fly forward, but immediately gets the mech. And now they've set Sigma down. The Sigma could get feasted on. But the, now the rest of the White Walkers are going to jump down and join them. Cave Doctor able to get the pick up on the turret. It's going to allow Windero to do a lot of work here. However, they haven't forced Million off this high ground with the window yet. Gravitic Walk's being used here. They're going to try and finish off Blunt. It's going to get that kill. It's not really a whole lot left here for the Tantalizers to do. That attack kind of crumbled before it completely got a chance to start. As soon as they deem it Cave Doctor, it just... They lost so much of their sustain. Yeah, no, that, I mean, really, I see all night Millie has been carrying. I mean, that's not to say that, you know, not everyone has been playing their part on White Walkers, but the the highlights, that the, like, 3Ks Millie has been getting, mm -hmm. and it's only map one. Listen, if Tantalizers gotta... don't start focusing Millie, I think, I think we're just going to see a repeat of what happened. Gotta credit those supports too for doing a lot of pocketing for Millie, giving uh, them yeah. the damage boost from Kitty in the window from the back of uh, Reflex. And Kitty's doing a uh, great Queen's job. Queen's trying to get up on this high ground here and contest with Pogchamp gonna drop down and assassinate them. Just the, the positioning of White Walkers here. I, I, it's hard for me to do play by play because the fight's already kind of over. Um, but. The positioning of White Walkers, they're just surrounding Tantalizers as they try to come up with a point. They're getting hit from all angles. Arrow gonna get the stick on the Charles. They're gonna try and get the finish here, but Kitty gonna drop down and pocket Charles, and Pogchamp gonna finish off Elite Arrow. Tantalizers in a very dangerous situation here. They have no ultimates to speak of. Well, sorry. No, they are building to a beat, and they may potentially get Coalescence, but I don't know if those two support ults are going to be enough here. Elite Arrow still swapping and spawn. They're not going to have that McCree for this fight. Blunt on the Sigma now. They need to get a tick here to at least be able to try and win this map. Reflex with a pick on the Waste Queen. That's a lot of your damage gone. Samurai uses the beat now. Molting Horde coming out here, trying to cut off re-entry of the point. 
not really using it to force Tantalizers off. There are still a lot of members, but Million uncontested up here with the help of Reflex. Bob has been thrown on the point too now, and the pits have happened, the cleanup happened on point. And that'll be a full hold coming in from White Walkers here. Absolutely. Just... <laughs> I don't know how you could run a defense on the Bonnie better with that composition. They they let White Walkers run, or not White Walkers, sorry. White Walkers let Tantalizers kind of run into a fishnet and they closed all the corners off as soon as they came in onto the point. Um, yeah, no. That, I mean, we saw it right there. Bleem was popping just right alongside Millie right there. That Sigma play, the shield management, the flux, man, like, I, I honestly think that was just a great performance from Bleem on Sigma. Mm hmm And you could see that Tantalizers didn't have, really didn't have an answer to it. You, you saw Queen sit in spawn for a little bit, trying to figure out what to do, but by that time it was a little too late, right? Mm-hmm. But I like this Sombra that we're seeing. Sombra Hanzo. Yeah. And I, I do Reef... believe what you're planning on there is just to build that EMP each and every fight and shut them down from having a chance of winning one of these fights. You you have to get the draw here. You cannot let them get another point on you. You cannot drop a map. At this point, it's, it's kind of map differential. Because you can't win this map anymore. And if you're, if you're White Walkers, you just want to build up the ultimates. What, what what's happening here? White Walkers just decided to chill for a minute. Queen gonna be greeted by the entirety of the White Walkers there for just a moment. Immortality field used early here. It wasn't really needed, so that cooldown will be lost. And White Walkers just completely flanked. Cave Doctor jumping down on Winston, but Charles wants to just beat him up with a hammer. Million on the high ground again. Pog Champ with an early pick of the White Queen. Now Blunt falls too. This Charles ran away with his hammer, gets a fire strike on the parsnip here. Elite Era trying their best here. Anime Samurai throws uh, Immortality Field onto the cart, gets hacked, so they won't be using those jump packs anymore. Elite Arrow getting the hack off on the Red Hood Kitty, we won't be seeing any orbs, but one was already tossed out, so it's off cool, but on cooldown. Anyway, White Walkers looking to take this map already, and it happens! White Walkers take Nambani pretty convincingly. I mean, I don't know if you caught that, but Millie had a smart play there um, as Sombra went forward, scouted uh, where Tance was, saw they were on high ground and communicated it back to their team, allowing them to just go straight. Depend that really was the whole factor in if White Walkers went high ground or low ground. Mm -hmm. That was great. Justice done is its own reward. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that fake out from White Walkers on the attack, too. Mm-hmm. Honestly, we're just seeing great strats, great plays from both of these teams. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm living for it. All right. Let's get I love watching some good walk. rotations, and White Walkers have done a great job with those tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we'll swap teams. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not tripping. Yes, <laughs> All right.
And then we'll get next map. Alright, Temple of Anubis. Oh, uh, okay. Spoilers here. Looks like we're actually going to see uh, Pogchamp come out of the lineup. And Reflex will be moving out of the support line and in place of Pogchamp. Interesting. This is the first map that Cloud has been in, right? Yep. Alright. Got some big shoes to fill. Yeah, Re Reflex has been putting on a very good show so far tonight. Honestly, all of the supports have from both teams. Where is Elite? Oh, Elite comes out of the DPS into the tank. And then we're going to see Queen and Zanny on DPS for Tantalizers. And the support is going to be Senshi coming back onto so mm -hmm. Oh, support. Wow, Tantalizers is swapping things up for us tonight. All right. I think that's it. The score so far is 2-0 in favor of White Walkers. Okay, we have a ready from... White Walkers. Now we're waiting on Tantalizers. What do y'all think, chat? For those of you guys who uh, have been watching. I think, I think we, I don't know, man. I, I honestly think White Walkers has been putting on a great performance, right? But I think Tantalizers is, is ready to take it back. I, I, I'm holding out faith, right? Like, I believe in them. I think I think Tantalizers will pull it back. Honestly, I I feel like Tantalizers just needs that shot calling focus. I feel like their mm -hmm. priority targets are off a little bit, like just a tad. But I mean, yeah. when you're playing against White Walkers, um, I feel like when you're playing against White Walkers, you you're gonna get like a little jumbled up. Mm -hmm. It's because he muted himself, Seth, mm -hmm. um, for a second there. Yeah. Uh, White Walkers. I mean, they they had a really really good defense. It was it was almost set up as a trap to split you up, because there were like three priority targets there that needed to like die, and all of them were really hard to get access to. Um, Millie, obviously, big priority target. Red Hood Kitty pocketing Millie needed to go. You needed to get rid of the Torbjorn turret, and in order to do that, you needed to get rid of the Torbjorn itself. And the tanks were not having any of it. They were not going to mm -hmm. let you have those kills for free. And even just getting to them with the compositions that Tantalizers opted to run, which they really needed to because the dive wasn't going to work against that composition... It just was going to be really, really hard. White Walkers basically played a really, really good game of keep away, and as soon as yeah, Millie was able to get like a pick or two, or the Torbjorn turret was able to pressure down or take focus away, they would collapse. But that only worked because they were hitting them from about two or three different angles at all times. Um, 
but I do still agree that from the side of tantalizers, it's been a bit cluttered. What, what's the word I'm looking for here? They, they just look scattered. The, the it just very very scattered as a team. I think if they tightened up a little bit and kind of would focus on one thing at a time, that they they have a good chance at coming uh, this back. This is only and map three. Us. Yeah, this is only map three. They I had to. I had to count to in my head. Get it back to map five. So far, White but Walkers is to... winning. Cytomia. Mm -hmm. Two zero to White Walkers. Mm -hmm. I'm ex. Okay, so I stop. love an Ash here on defense. I love. I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the fact that they're playing an Ash here. Because I feel like Ash is so strong. I mean, really, on both teams, is this, is this an Ash one v one? I must see. Is this an Ash one v one? But I, no, I really. No reflex ops out. They go to the far. Oh, You're in the far seat. Oh my gosh! But you know you how much Duke I love. You got Duke. like to watch better. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna see Millie going to the back already. Just a poke war going on right now. Ishii doesn't really have anything to do here. Just gonna hold the shield up when it's critical. Uh, Millie back here in Viz, just gonna try and poke down Zanny. Zanny notices, not quite sure where they're at yet. Now they've got a location, but now this is what I'm talking about. Tantalizer's getting a little split up here. Waste Queen isn't with the team. They've lost that major damage factor. Ishii though is still able to get to pick up a Richard, but Reflex after the help of Millie focusing down Zanny boy together. And they're gonna and let Kitty Kitty bubble, res. They're gonna get the res. That was a really good bubble, but Richard stepped into a trap. There's there's a chance here. It's not gonna be followed up on though. Millie's just on this high ground getting value for free. Yeah, they're not gonna do Millie anything about her. Weiss Queen falls, the, the White Walkers are gonna start getting aggressive here. And now Reflex with the, the barrage. Uh, White Walkers are just coming in here. They've slowly poked all the resources out of Tantalizers, they're gonna take A, but Tantalizers have to be careful. They have both of their support ults here, but Tantal or White Walkers coming up on five ultimates. This could turn into a snowball if they don't handle this properly. Millie coming up on EMP, going to have it. This could negate the sound barrier, but Elite Arrow, Arrow gets a fantastic pick here, shutting down what could have snowballed them. And it still could happen, but it looks like White Walkers are going to have to wait on Millie to come back. But Reflex with a pick on the Pixie. That might be your opening here. Now the Coalescence being invested to keep Richard up. You're you're kind of forced to push now. Millie's back. Ishimon gets lit on fire, but the bubble coming through is going to help out. Also here for Tantalizers now. It's a oh, but the Shatter, the EMP is huge! And the Shatter comes through, it is equally large! Gleam and Great Flex able to follow up on it. The Bob is on point and Race Queen has a rip tire. It could be big. It's gonna find the two now. Whoa! Tire I mean, this is, is what we expected from saving. Queen. Queen is known and you walk for away those from tires. This with both of your tankles still. Sorry, continue. No, I was just saying Queen is known for those tires. I mean, Queen it's what we really expected. strong on Junkrat. Yeah, I think in these clutch scenarios, you can usually pretty pretty much count on Queen to come through for you if you're the Tantalizers. And you're going to see Millie really over here on the plane. To think otherwise. Mm -hmm. Just standing up here on this little pile of rocks. Just having a good time trying to farm up another EMP. They're already 30% of the way to their next EMP. However, I, mean... uh, I think it's just a dry push territory for the White Walkers right now. Just run in, try to get some ultimates. And maybe if you're lucky, you force one of those tank ults out of there uh, goes Tantal Kitty, though. Ice Queen with a pick on the Kitty quickly. You have to be careful if you're Tantalizers right now. You do not want to just throw these two ults you have to dangle over White Walkers away for no reason. And that pick on the Red Hood Kitty is crucial for making that happen. I mean, White Walkers over here are taking their sweet time, but they have all the time that they need. So I'm sure something... Tantalizers isn't complaining about that at all right now, but White Walkers, yeah, acknowledging their large time bank. Just gonna try and build up to about 5-6 ultimates here, but they're not forcing any out from Tantalizers. Here comes a bomb! 
Shatter goes through, but it doesn't find anything. Graviton Surge invested, only getting gleaned, but that's enough. However, the tanks are gone now for the Tantalizers. White Walker's finding the picks they need to get here, and a res on the Bleem. Your only kill you've managed to find thus far if you res back up. White Queen with another tire gets shut down before it even gets a chance. And now Millie's behind them in the spawn area. Is she able to shut down the EMP? Graviton Surge coming out, it's only gonna find Illy Arrow, and they're not gonna actually get the kill. On the tail, is just gonna be able to restabilize here. Oh, Richard gets a really good pick on the Pixie, and a fire strike, the Shadow comes through too, and knocks everyone down. Illy Arrow able to get back up and get the bubble off, but it's not gonna be enough to keep them alive in the fight. Bob gets charged off the point. White Queen finally falling here. Parsnip Pixie gonna try and touch, gets almost gets hacked, able to get the, the fade off just in time. Ishimon using the shield, trying to stay alive. Fades out a charge from Richard, able to stay alive just a little bit longer because of it. They're just draining time off the clock right now. They've gotten about an extra minute. White Queen touches again, but gets hacked immediately. Not gonna be able to use those mines to get away. Sandy Boy has gotten back onto the point, but he's gonna get melted down by the coalescence. Elite Effort is doing everything they can. Since he's back on the Lucio, we're gonna try and wall up right, but it's not gonna be enough. They're still touching! Horse and Pixie makes it back, but it's hacked. Finally, after draining about a minute and 40 seconds, maybe two minutes off the clock, White Walkers are gonna take point B. How's your voice holding up there, buddy? <laughs> Quite well. Dang. <laughs> Initiating match. You can tell it's a good match when Urabi starts <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Hyper mode. <laughs> I like this map because I like Arabic, but I hate this map because I hate it. Like, I hate the strats that you're able to pull off here. I hate it. There's so many opportunities. I love it for that reason. I, I love thinking about all the different things you can do and like point B up like presents you with about five different uh, abilities for pathing if you if you're thinking really creatively and that's not even getting the sim teleporter involved. Uh, oh, yeah. if you do that even on like point A, there's about five, six different pathing routes, especially if you use those windows up in the top where the mini is, or the mega is. Um Lots of fake out potential on pathing too. It's just a really fun map when it comes to, to like crafting paths and Five, rotations. Four, I like it. I like it for the reasons there's so much you can do in terms of setting up your defense or your offense. Cheeky white walkers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sleep well, Sidomia. Setting up it's... the double shield here. I like the double shield for this defense here. You have a lot of ability to be counter aggressive, but. Looks like Tantalizers want no business of it. Look and at Red that Hood rotation. Kitty might get the res here. Red, yep, the Red Hood Kitty goes in for the res, and the shield's gonna prevent White Queen from getting any arrows into the head of that Mercy. Elite Arrow gets pulled down, maybe a little bit sooner than they wanted to. Gonna charge into the Golden Orisa. Reflex is behind Elite Arrow. This could get dangerous for them. They might lose their Reinhardt on the side of Tantalizers, but Senchi assassinates the re uh, uh, Reflex here. Tantalizers have a pretty good foothold here on the point. They have point presence right now. He's in the back line again. Well, what is the back line now? But White Queen is popping! Finds the tank line, and Red Hood Kitty is denied of a res! It's just gonna be clean up here on the side of Tantalizers. Oh. They're gonna go ahead and claim point A for themselves. That was such a nice pop-off from Queen and Zanny Boy right there. Mm-hmm. The healers on point duty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no real uh, snowball potential here from either side. I mean, if, if Tantalizers had the ult, they would probably have a really good chance of doing it because there'd be nothing to shut it down from White Walkers, but they just don't have it. They do have the overall ult advantage due to Richard not having Shatter and Reflex swapping over to May. Look, they started pushing they though right. yeah. without the rest of their team. All right, now we're regrouped. They should be fine. The two tanks do have a pretty good amount of self-sustained, but that dynamite's good. It finds two. That's going to be building Bob. Millie has Bob now because of it. Fire strike going through. Richard finds 30% of their ult now. Decent Maywall splitting the team a little bit here. Going to force them to regroup. White Queen going to throw a dragon in here. Is he going to be able to find anything? It does force White Walkers into this corner, but Gravitas Pulse coming through. Finding three members of Tantalizers. 
Not gonna find any picks immediately, but Blaine walks in, it's gonna get the cleanup off of all those oh, half nice members. shatter. But the shatter comes through, it's huge, but I don't think your follow-up's there anymore. You lost them all in the dark room. And that's gonna be White Walkers cleaning up. Zane gonna walk in the feed here and reset. Really good defense by White Walkers, biding their time, waiting on Tantalizers to really uh, commit to their ultimates and then counter-striking as soon as they do it. Cheeky reflex, cheeky. <laughs> Why is early, early picks here from White Squeed? That's the red gone the though. Yeah, that's critical, Ooh. but Millie counters. Millie said it's my turn to get the early pick. <laughs> yeah, really though. <laughs> And, and another shoot. one! They're gonna shut down, that's a stagger pick at this point. They're gonna have to just build up their alts or back up all the way. And White I Queen mean, has to be careful. That dynamite could have been the end of White Queen right there. Really? You could but argue that, that this is feeding at this point, but... I... Yeah, I mean... Oh no! Millie able to get another pick on the Weiss Queen that's eating into this time bank. Analyzers aren't doing what White Walkers was doing and trying to kind of scope out the situation. They're ready to push in. They want to. They have the ults to maybe win this right now. But now, had they been able to push in 30 seconds ago when they wanted to, they had the ult advantage. But now White Walkers coming up on their fourth ultimate in Red Hood Kitty will build to that Valkyrie in the fight. Gleam might be able to get Gravetic Flux. Um, I feel that's like, a bit of a tricky ultimate to get built up. I feel like Tantalizers is taking a little bit too they're, long, I think. They're using a weird rotation, but White Walker sniffs it out. They're here. Ooh. The Shatter goes through, but it's too high. It doesn't find anyone. There's the Danny Boy. Danny finds Millie and Cloud. And since she's getting a pick up of Richard, Graviton Surge goes out, not finding anything. Unfortunate for Ishimon. Bob gets tossed in here, Elite Arrow trying to block the damage from it. Reflex and Kitty are still alive on point. Cloud Lemon makes it back. Now the respawns are gonna start coming through. Richard charges, he fights! Ishimon, is the kill gonna go through? It is! The members of White Walkers are back! This dragon has to get a lot, and it's not! White Walkers see it coming and back away from it. Now they're gonna reconvene with the rest of their team and start... The White Queen! White Queen might make the hero play! Unfortunately, it does look like though there's not enough oh, members of their team left, but White Queen is still going! No White one Queen is doesn't contesting want to give this up just White yet. Queen. There we go. And there it is, Millie finally getting the pick of the White Queen. And gets the cleanup on the Pixie. And just then, they managed to get a better time bank. If, if Tantalizers does manage to complete this map, White Walkers so far have done a really good job of controlling the pace. Ishii might die here! The burn gets them! If you're Tantalizers, you only have about one, maybe two good fights left now. I, I honestly, I would say they have one strong fight left and then stall picks. And, and White Walkers have given themselves the tools. They they can shut this down. They're coming up on five ultimates here. Red Hood Kitty won't see Valkyrie for a, a little while. We'll eventually build it, especially if they keep damage boosting Millie. And now Tantalizer's looking to run it up main. They know they have to get something done fast. White Queen with a pick on the Millie, but it's gonna get rezzed up by Kitty. Elite Arrow losing the, the Shatter, I believe. I think I heard that get canceled out. Dragon's coming through, gonna try and punish them for Executing on Blizzard, but it's not gonna find anything again. They they call out its positioning and back away. They're gonna start collapsing. White Queen, can they get another hero play? It's entirely possible. Dynamite coming through. It's burning a lot of the members of Tantalizers right now. White Queen finding Gleam. Can they get Richard too? Richard puts up the shield. Parson Pixie trying to get them from behind, but there's too much happening to Parson Pixie on point. Richard goes back behind the statue and gets the pick on the White Queen and comes back out and kills Pixie while they're at it. Now Tantalizers are in trouble, they don't have ults, they don't have abilities to group up. They're in a lot of danger here and their series depends on them being able to pull this off. The Reflex swaps to Reflex, shuts down Ishii before it even gets a chance! 
half of the Taylor Lysers are already gone here. White Walker's in a really good position to take the series right here and now. White Queen oh. not trying to give this up so soon, but dies before they can touch. And that'll be White Walker's taking map three of Anubis. Play of the game. So far, it's 3 0 for White Walkers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, 69%. If Acid was here, he'd go crazy. <laughs> oh, Acid. <laughs> Yeah, we have one more map to see if uh, if I see was right or it is right, I should say. All right. Let's get these teams swapped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Going through some of chat right now while we wait on the swaps to go through. <laughs> <clears throat> Did we cast their curse twice? Oh no. I'm what? sorry, Weiss. What happened? I think I might have accidentally cast her curse twice. Oh, I I've just been avoiding it. I'm saying queen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're not mad at me. No, 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 like as in I gave Weiss Queen so much praise and then they died. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, I I did a bad. Whoopsie. Sorry, Queen. <laughs> Once they watch this back, they're gonna be like, <laughs> "What the heck?" <laughs> uh, just crazy play that round by the DPS from both sides, in my opinion. Honestly, though, I, it was really at that point it was, what, what, what? Why do I have people leaving? Unsure. Maybe swap time. But, uh, Reflex really popping tonight on these, uh, these dual roll, rolls here. Doing great on both of the, the support players, or heroes they really played on a lot. And also coming in on the DPS line and putting on quite a clinic there. It's hard to look really good when Millie's popping off, but Reflex is doing it. And Cloud, I think, is doing a pretty good job of filling in the gap that uh, Reflex left when they went to the DPS line. I mean, honestly, I'm just um, proud of both of these teams. Sorry, I like was trying to think of the word and like couldn't think of mm. like English vocabulary. It just didn't didn't happen. But I'm actually really proud of both of these teams. <laughs> they seem to be doing Tantalizers. a great job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tantalizers keeps giving us these these glimpses of greatness every map, and it, it's so disappointing to watch them get so close to, to cracking mm -hmm. the armor of White Walkers and not quite being able to get all the way through. 
They yeah. they had such a clean attack on point A and Nubis, and they had opportunities to take B pretty cleanly, but it just Millie honestly swiped it away from them by just stagger picking them over and over again until the White Walkers had their ultimates online and were able to really combat tantalizers when they got there finally. Because Millie mean, bought them about 40, 50 seconds of time bank when they were just trying to group up. But this map, we have Millie coming out, and we have Reflex and Pog. Um, <laughs> yeah. DPS line. And Muscadier coming in on the tank line here. Muscadier played Lucio on map one, if I, uh, my memory serves. I'm like so And I see Parsnip Pixie uh, hopped out for Anime Samurai. Mm hmm. So, or... this is the first time we're going to see. Oh, um, Cypher's back too. We're, this is the first time we're going to see Tantalizer's uh, support line be Cypher and Anime together. Mm hmm. So, the next map will be Rialto. As long yeah, as it's working. Literally, I know it's been kind it of took this me a minute. Tree. I was trying to find Rialto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. We're ready. All right. Let me get ready from both teams. Ready and awesome. ready. Okay. Well, let's get started. Now you guys are itching for map uh, four. Map four, yeah. We also yeah. not too terribly yeah. dive friendly. Luckily, it looks just on the surface like uh, tantalizers want to move away from their divey style and are bringing in their, their tank line and tends to run their more brawl or double shield compositions. I beg to differ. I love dive on Rialto, but I can I didn't see. didn't say it was impossible. Listen, I can see what you mean, mm -hmm. okay? I just, I personally love dive on any map because I'm a diva one trick. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, dive works just about anywhere. Ready? Not everywhere, but it works in a lot of places and it's really, really fun to play. Ooh, I like this double shield mirror comp that we're gonna see here with the tanks. Mm hmm. Um, we're gonna see Farah yeah, Mercy Farah. for the Tantalizers. I think Farah Mercy is always a good choice on this map. And Zany Boy on Widow. I like that as well. Um, and then on White Walkers, we're gonna see Reflex on Ash, which we've seen pop. And we're gonna see Pog on Tracer, which we haven't seen yet. Kitty on uh, Brig, which is interesting, and Cloud on Ana, also interesting, could help with the Farah in the Sky, possibly. I haven't seen a whole lot of Cloud on Ana, but I have seen Kitty on Brig and Pretty good. Essentially, doing exactly what I expected. They have a really strong Farah, immediately gonna pick Cloud here. That's gonna put them in a pretty good position. They're, yeah, it looks like White Walkers are gonna just immediately give them this corner and pull back lost a pretty good source of your healing, but Reflex had a really good Ash showing last round, gets a pick on the Senshi, however, Cypher gets the res on the Senshi, gonna be able to- Oh no, Reflex shuts him down immediately again! Anti-aerial Reflex. And they're gonna start pushing Senshi forward and taking May. back that space yeah, that they allowed them to take over. And Blunt barely gonna make it out of here with their life. Cave Doctor might not! Cave Doctor's still really, really weak. Finally gonna get a healer on them. I would assume Samurai was out of armor packs and wasn't able to really provide any healing to Cave Doctor, but now it looks like Tantalizers are grouped back up and ready to start trying to push this card again. They've already got the Sigma Shield really, really weak. It looks like they just broke it right there if I. No, they really not. Um, healing cut off for some of the White Walkers with the shield placements from the Tantalizer. Musketeer gets frozen, not gonna get picked off. Zanny Boy directly above them, gonna take the fight with Reflex and gonna win it. And unlike uh, Tantalizers, they don't have a mercy to bring that back. 
Coalescence getting invested here. They had a quite had quite a few members weak on White Walkers that are now fully topped off and ready to get back into this fight. Blizzard gets tossed in here. Kitty straight in the center of it. Gonna try to shield rush out. Not gonna make it. Cave Doctor gonna be able to get the kill here. But it's not over yet. Buskadir uses their own supercharger. Gonna be able to get so much value with it. And a fight that should have gone Tantalizer's way. Muskadir puts a halt on it. Muskadir on a Risa is interesting. Got real aggro there when I thought the fight was lost. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get to see Muskadir, but I'm gonna assume they fortified through the blizzard and everybody thought that they were safe to walk into it and Muskadir was like, ah, no. However, they did just use their gold, not gonna have it for the Splux. Reflex and down, the kill but Reflex feed. is popping right now. <laughs> Reflex said Millie isn't the only Ash player on our team. Okay, Doctor gonna get bashed by Kitty here. Bob toss in from White Walkers. However, Anime Samurai in the back line of the White Walkers with Rally active. Gonna get shut down. Really overextended there. A nice halt lifting Senshi and Cave Doctor into the air. However, Senshi's gonna have Wraith. Gonna try and get out here, but Pog Champ not having any of it. Pushing in. Damaging Senshi enough for an orb to take them out. Now Pogchamp may have overextended a bit themselves. They're gonna be able to get themselves out of this fight though. The rock narrowly avoiding them. Sandy also dodging a, a rock rather than a bullet there. Then he went for an aerial shot and became an aerial shot, oh, unfortunately. Great block there. For that shatter, unfortunate for Cave Doctor. That might have been their tool. It was. I'm, I just looked up at their ulti code. That was their tool to victory here. They're gonna have to win a neutral fight now. And Senji gets picked and Reflex finds in. The and Cloud gets blood. The, the, the Grenadine Flux comes through, knocks Game Doctor so low, and Pog Champ just gonna go in and get super aggro now. They get a complete team kill to round out their defense on Rialto with a, a half hold on A here. That kill That's feed there was not a lot of work crazy. White Walkers has to do now. Yeah, man, that kill feed, like, I don't know if you saw it, but it was <laughs> literally yeah. every single one of the White Walkers getting a kill after kill. Like, it wasn't just, you know, Reflex or just Pog. It right. was everything. It... it was even Kitty and Cloud. <laughs> like, how? <Yeah. laughs> That's great. Everybody gets Final Blow. <laughs> yeah, really, though. <laughs> A tall order for the Tantalizers now if they want to walk away from this series with at least one map for the map differential. Mm -hmm. Which is very important. We have seen in previous seasons where... I remember actually last season we had four teams towards the end of the season. I think about three games before the Tier 2 season ended. were tied for first place. The only thing separating them was about three or four maps. So... You want to take all the maps you can get, even if you're not going to take wins you need draws you need you need something you cannot can't afford too many four o's it's a soccer ball and recycling bin we go green in this house one, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Attackers we have anime samurai looking for a boop kill over here are they gonna find it Oh, they boop reflex out into the open, and now Zanny Boy trying to execute on it. Nobody's dealing with Anime Samurai, just harassing reflex. Finally gonna get the boop into the water, but unfortunately, they lost one of their healers to that shenanigans over there at the bridge. It's gonna force Tantalizer's back. Pog Champ not afraid at all to go toe to toe with Senshi's Reaper. Getting out of there a little bit before uh, things went south, though. White Walker's finding a pick on the anime samurai, finally answering to that shenanigans, turns it around and punches Zenji straight into the wall. White Walker's already on the edge of winning this map. Enough of the tantalizers have been wiped out, it's gonna take a hero play from somebody to turn this around. And it's um, not gonna happen. That is That'll be White Walker's taking the clean 4-0. Looks like Icy was right. <laughs> Soccer ball. 
Oh, this is the play I was talking about. They didn't use Golden, they just got out of the blizzard and got everyone from an off angle. Oh, I love me some Arisa plays. <laughs> Okay, so the fun part. <laughs> now it's everyone's favorite pastime. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me good old see. MVPs. That was honestly such a great game, though. Like, it, it might. White Walkers may have gotten that 4 0, but Tantalizer put such a great fight on. That's why it was so easy to cast. Like, mm -hmm. you're seeing this back and forth, back and forth constantly with the team fights that you think are going to go one way end up going the opposite. That was crazy. Right. Honestly, that was amazing. I'm so, so amazed from both of these teams. All right, well. So, right. the Tantalize is left, which... <laughs> Makes things difficult. Always tough. But it's yeah. okay. Well, I, I'll remember them. For um, tanks, who are you thinking? White Walkers the or tanks. Tantalizers first? Um, I, so Ishii had a lot of good plays that made it possible for Tantalizers to kind of get their footing on a couple of those maps, especially Anubis. Um, but I did really appreciate, uh, Richard and Bleem and honest, uh, the entirety of the, of the tank line from White Walkers. It's kind of hard to pick because we had solid tank play from just about everybody who got on the roll tonight. Mm-hmm, agreed. Um. Standouts to me, though, were definitely probably Bleem and Muscadier. Despite Muscadier only playing one map, their Arissa on Rialto was absolutely insane. But I think I might be leaning towards Bleem for mm -hmm. uh, tank MVP tonight. I, I mean, I agree. For me, personally, it was between Bleem and Cave Doctor. Um... Cave Doctor had a really just because defense. of that last play that we saw, but I I think Bleem honestly outshined on on Tank tonight, especially with the mm -hmm. Sigma plays that we kept seeing, and all night really. So I mean, personally, I have to give it to Bleem for Tank. Agreed. Mhm. Mm yeah, definitely. Okay. So we move to the DPS category now. Um, um, okay. I'm, so, yes, There's go. a lot of arguments to be made here. Really, though? And <laughs> everybody on White Walkers killed it. Reflex was killing it. Honestly, right alongside Millie, who was killing it. And PogChamp wasn't even giving analyzers the time to breathe. But I really think I need to pick Weiss Queen, because... Tantalizers were struggling most of the night against the White Walkers, but Weiss Queen absolutely made it possible for them to win so many of those fights. Almost every time they were in, you were seeing at least one or two, or up, up to around three picks a fight from Weiss Queen. So, personally, my pick goes to them, but I want to hear your opinion. Listen, I think Weiss Queen did great, mm -hmm. but I think I I think they got outshined tonight. Like they did amazing, great highlight, but I think they got outshined. I personally think that it's. It has to be here to help me with. 
<laughs> I I kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Reflex because Reflex stepped up when Millie was out, and Reflex was also uh, we we had a lot of like Millie this Millie that, but Millie was also receiving a lot of support help. Um, Kitty was boosting them a lot, and honestly, when Reflex was on support on the Baptiste, they were giving they were fully giving Millie windows to work with. No, I and agree. Mm -hmm. I think Reflex was able to keep up with what Millie was do doing without as much of the support pocket. So yeah, I I can get behind her Reflex. I I agree. No, I agree. I literally was like gushing on Reflex, so I agree. Um, and then, so support is going to go to Tantalizers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there was, gosh, I forgot their user. Um, uh, Parsnip Pixie and Senshi kind of stood out to me for the most part. For me, but it was... Was there somebody else you saw? It was um, Cypher and Pixie. Cypher also, yeah. Cypher's just a really strong pick always. <laughs> But I I I think I'm I'm gonna agree with you. I think Pixie was doing a great job, um, back and forth with keeping mm -hmm. the rest of the team alive, especially with Millie like breathing down your back. Yeah. I I have to I have to agree. I think it's gonna be Pixie for support. All right. So. Bleem, Reflex, and Pixie. Mm -hmm. I'll send it. Right. That's your MVPs for tonight. And thank you guys for uh, watching. I think that covers just about everything. Yeah, uh, I agree. <laughs> thank you guys for mm -hmm. watching, and um, congratulations to White Walkers for taking that 4-0. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go ahead and end the stream. Thank you guys for watching again. Have a great night. <laughs>